Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another realistic rebuild here on my channel. In this one, we're doing the Sacramento Kings. Here are the objectives if you guys want to pause those. These are the settings that I'm going to be using. If you're new to the channel, just know that I do use Trade Override for my realistic rebuilds. It just adds more realism. I can format packages that I think are fair for both teams. And usually for big trades, I'll give my reasons as to why it works out for both teams and give like a little explanation. But for the most part, this is how it's going to be. And let's get right into it with the roster for the Kings. Here it is. Willie Colley Stein is actually the best player. I don't know how, but De'Aaron Fox, Marvin Bagley. Here are his stats. They did draft him second overall in the draft. I'm not sure if he's going to be an all-star or a superstar. No one really knows, but I do like him. I think he's going to be really good in the league along with De'Aaron Fox. But besides Buddy Heald, De'Aaron Fox, and Marvin Bagley, a lot of pieces could be moved around and traded. But here's the rotation for the first season. We don't have our first round pick. If you guys recall, the Boston Celtics do have it. So let's see what happens. So we're actually at the trade deadline right now and I'm going to be trying to trade for Washington's first round pick next year um, for Ian Mahimi. He's on a horrible contract for them and he's doing really bad in real life without Dwight Howard right now. So Costa Kufis is going to go to Washington for a first round pick. So Stephen Curry is going to win MVP for the Warriors in this first season. Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. Tyreek Evans, sixth man. Kawhi, defensive player. And Buddy Heald, most improved for us. And yeah, he did pretty good. Uh, averaging almost 20 points per game. Not too bad. He is a scorer. Doesn't play too much defense, but we'll try to upgrade that. And Marvin Bagley on the All-Rookie first team. Averaging about 15 points and 9 rebounds. So if we go to the standings, we were second worst in the West. So that's not too good, but I expected that. We don't have our first round pick. As I said, the Celtics will have it or the Sixers if it falls number one. But player stats, Buddy Yield averaging the most points. Then Marvin Bagley, Darren Fox, not what I expected from him. I expected a little bit better, but Willie Colley sign. We'll see if we'll bring him back. Scalabus here is probably gone. And just like always, it's going to be a Raptors-Warriors finals. And 2-2, 3-2. Raptors take it in seven games. Kawhi Leonard finals MVP. So Washington's pick was lottery protected. And it is going to be the 18th pick. And with the 18th pick in the NBA draft, we are going to take Jalen McDaniels out of San Diego State. Small forward. So if Buddy Heald doesn't work out or Bogdanovich then we can progress him and he might be starting. But in the second round, we are going to take Jonte Porter, center slash power forward out of Missouri. Michael Porter Jr.'s brother. He might progress into something good. So here's the roster for the second season. Marvin Bagley up to an 83. De'Aaron Fox is at an 82. Buddy Heald already at an 80. Bogdanovich also at an 80. But... We have a lot of young pieces, but they're not really that great. Just like Justin Jackson and uh, Frank Mason, I do like, though. But for now, we'll keep this team as it is and see what happens. We do have our first-round pick, so. So for this season, Russell Westbrook's going to win the MVP for the Thunder. RJ Barrett on the Cavs, Rookie of the Year. Kawhi Leonard, again, Defensive Player. And IT signed to the Magic, Most Improved. Let's see if anyone made an All-NBA team, which I doubt. We have a really young team, so I would not expect it. But if we check out the standings, we were a little bit better. Fourth to last in the West. So we were the 12th seed. 12th, uh, 12th place. Player stats, Buddy Heald again averaging the most points. And De'Aaron Fox very much improved. I like to see that from him. Marvin Bagley, pretty good all-around game. We call it Stein. We might be letting go, but I like it for now. Jalen McDaniels, not too great. 
Yeah, I don't know how the Cavs got to the finals, but it's a Warriors-Cavs rematch without LeBron. I don't know how, but they're going to get swept either way. Steph Curry finals MVP. So in the lottery, we do have the seventh projected pick, and we're going to get pick seven. And with the seventh overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft, we're going to take Adrian Murphy out of LaSalle, I believe. Shooting guard should be pretty good. In case Buddy Heal doesn't work out. And here we're going to be trading Iman Shumper and three second round picks to the Pelicans for a protected future first round pick. They need shooting. Iman Shumper is still a very good scorer. And obviously they have free agents. Gerald Green is getting up there. He's going to start to decline and Etwan Moore also. So they get also three second round picks in the draft. So in free agency, we're going to go after some restricted free agents like Jalen Brown. We're going to offer him pretty much a max deal. And we're also going to go after another free agent, Brandon Ingram, restricted as well. We're going to throw him a lot of money because obviously people don't want to come to Sacramento. Um, no free agent is really going to go to Sacramento, who is a star, but... So the Lakers are actually going to match the offer also... The Celtics are going to match Brandon Ingram. So we're going to go after some other guys here. Not DeJounte Murray. Chris Dunn, we could sign and move him to shooting guard. I do like his defense and his passing. So that could be an option. Only asking for a 16 mil a season. Torian Prince, also a pretty good defender. He's having a really good season this season with the Hawks. So we can also score the ball. We'll go after those two. So for the third season, we did end up signing Chris Dunn and we did move him to shooting guard. So we'll have a De'Aaron Fox and Chris Dunn backcourt and we're going to move Buddy Heal to the small forward. He's a bit undersized, but I think he should be able to handle it. Bogdanovich is going to come off the bench now and Giles is also going to start at center. So that's going to be a good little change, but let's see what happens. So for this season, Giannis is going to win the MVP for the Bucks. Paul Anthony on the Hornets Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, six man, Jaron Jackson, most improved, and Lloyd Pierce for the Hawks, Coach of the Year. And let's see if anyone made a team. Marvin Bagley on the All NBA third team. I did not expect that so quick, but he did average 18 and 12. So that's pretty good numbers from him. Let's check out the standings. We were we actually made the playoffs. We were the fifth seed. Did not expect this at all. I thought we would maybe be fighting for an 8th seed, but 5th seed, very good. We were one of the better defensive teams in the league. So, player stats, Marvin Bagley averaging the most points. De'Aaron Fox doing pretty well, getting a lot of assists, along with Chris Dunn. Bogdanovich off the bench, pretty nice. Giles, serviceable. So, here in the first round, we're down 3-0 to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's see if we can get a game. It is our first time in the playoffs, so it's going to be a bit hard. But it looks like we are going to get swept here. No problem. We're still a very young team. I don't have any problems with this. Um, De'Aaron Fox, though, needs to play better. He did not have a good series. Chris Dunn also did not score the ball well. But he healed. No one really played well for us. They really The Timberwolves played excellent defense which they're not really known for except for Jimmy Butler, but. And the Timberwolves actually made the finals after beating us. They're playing the Heat. This is a pretty weird finals, especially for season three. Towns is the finals MVP. So here we're gonna be making a trade with the Houston Rockets. Bogdanovich, he's an 82 overall. He was coming off the bench for us. He's a good piece, but we have a lot of wing players and we don't really need him also we'd clear up his 13 million dollar contract to go after a good free agent so and here in free agency we are going to throw a max deal for two years at clint capella it would not let me offer him more than that so that was kind of weird but it's a two-year deal a lot of money and he did accept it so we're going to sign him so here is a roster for the fourth season. Marvin Bagley up to an 89. Clint Capella, De'Aaron Fox. Jonte Porter, who is actually progressing really well. 
and Jalen McDaniels kind of a letdown at the 18th pick but Murphy should be ready to step up next year or this year even he is coming off the bench hopefully he'll give us a nice spark but let's see what happens in this season so Giannis is gonna win a back-to-back -back MVP for the Bucks. Bass Dirk on the Knicks rookie of the year and Malone coach of the year for the Nuggets let's see if Bagley made it on an all-NBA team again Looks like he did not, but that's fine. We were the seventh seed, so a little bit of a down year from last year. I don't know how we add Clint Capella and then get a lower seed, but we're playing the Timberwolves again in the first round, so hopefully we can get revenge. De'Aaron Fox actually leading the team in scoring. Marvin Bagley did pretty well. Buddy healed at small forward. Surprisingly, he's doing fine. Capella... A little bit of a down year as well so here in the first round we're actually in a game seven against the t-wolves so this is it this is for all the marbles in minnesota can we steal one very close game we do have the lead with a minute left three point game it was a one point game but someone hit a big shot and we went by two points De'Aaron fox here leading the way he had 33 points eight assists marvin bagley 19 and 14 huge game from him Capella also playing that defense out there, but Josh Okogie led the T-Wolves in scoring. Yeah, that's not, not a good formula. So here in the second round, we are up on the Rockets, 3-1. to one. Not sure how, but I'll take it. Must be the defense. They do win this game here, though. And this, this is crazy, but they actually have Joel Embiid. I don't know how. They offered him a max contract. They have Embiid, Harden, and Chris Paul all on max contracts. I don't know how they pulled that off, but I don't know how we're even up on them, let alone how they pulled that off. And it looks like we're going to be winning here in six games, though. So huge game from Fox again. He's doing really well in these playoffs as the point guard. And we're here in the conference finals we're up 3-1 again this time on the lakers and lebron so let's see if we can close it out here in five games and be moving on to the first ever nba finals um in a long time i do know the kings have won a championship but i don't even know when so deandre jordan is actually on the lakers and they do win by two points so please can we avoid a game seven against lebron we all know what LeBron can do in Game 7. It's another close game here. We're up going into the fourth with a minute a minute left. And we are going to win by four points. De'Aaron Fox, 20 points, 11 assists. Bagley with 18 and 12. And let's check out how LeBron did. Ingram led them in scoring. LeBron had a pretty good playoff series, but wasn't enough. Lonzo Ball not really helping too much. So we're in the NBA Finals playing against the Boston Celtics, this loaded Celtics team, and we are going to take game one. De'Aaron Fox with another huge performance, a double-double from him. Bagley also playing pretty well. Yeah, this team's loaded. Kyrie, Terry Rozier, Tatum, Brown. But we do go up 2-0 in this series. Buddy Heald this time with 20 points, doing pretty well. He is known for scoring, but he hasn't really gone off in this video. And Tatum, leading scorer for the Celtics in this game. Game 3, we win again, going up 3-0 on the Celtics. That is huge. There's no way we blow this. Although it is 2K, so you can never be sure. But we should be able to close this up. I don't think we're going to sweep the Celtics, but we definitely could here and we do take a huge lead in the fourth i'm gonna hop in so this game is pretty much over i'm just gonna try to get some buckets here De'Aaron fox one-on-one -on -one with the rosier right to the rack get off of it get off of fox tatum oh my god tatum get finesse tatum get finesse tatum missed the free throw but it doesn't matter Tatum got absolutely posterized by Fox. Great defense, Bagley. Get it to healed. All right, healed. Do something. Fox for three. 
Oh my. De'Aaron Fox with a dagger three. An absolute dagger. If he gets a jump shot, the league better be aware. Oh, De'Aaron Fox again. Green. If De'Aaron Fox ever gets this type of jump shot, watch out. But the Sacramento Kings are going to win the NBA title here with De'Aaron Fox and Marvin Bagley leading the way. And I'll let you guys watch the ceremony. So let's check out the stats. Gordon Hayward, 19 points. Jalen Brown and Tatum, both 14 apiece. Kyrie, not his best scoring game. De'Aaron Fox, though, he balled out. 30 points from him. Also getting the assists. He, he averaged incredible numbers. Marvin Bagley also doing pretty well. So De'Aaron Fox is going to be the finals MVP, averaging 26 and 9. So after winning the championship, we're going to try to make this team repeat and go back to back. Here we're just going to make a small trade with Portland who just fell off, completely fell off. They lost CJ McCollum and they somehow traded for Blake Griffin, but they're not doing well. So we're going to trade for their future first. And here we're going to be making a pretty big trade of Chris Dunn, who we don't really need he did help us win a championship but i want a typical small forward like josh jackson he's averaging incredible numbers has become a star in this league and phoenix lost devin booker i don't know how but they lost devin booker and they need a point guard so So here's the roster for the final season. Marvin Bagley, Clint Capella, De'Aaron Fox, Jonte Porter, Josh Jackson. We also got Harry Giles, Buddy Heald, Jalen McDaniels, and Adrian Murphy. Um, I think Adrian Murphy is going to be held back a little bit in this video just because Buddy Heald is better right now. But in the future, if we were to go longer, he would be the starter. So Stephen Curry is going to win another MVP, I, I believe that's his fourth, fourth or fifth, but we did get coach of the year, and let's see if someone made an all-NBA team, De'Aaron Fox on the all-NBA second team, well deserved from De'Aaron Fox, and it looks like Marvin Bagley did not make a team, but that's fine, standings, we were the number one seed, winning a lot of games. So very much improved from the seventh seed up to the number one seed. We have a great chance at getting back to the finals. And we'll be playing the Lakers in the first round. So rematch for them. We'll be very careful with that team. But here are the stats. Josh Jackson. About what I expected from him. So very good trade. Checking out the team stats. We were on offense. We were about top 10. And defensively, we were the second best. So here in the first round, it's looking pretty easy. We're up 3-0 right now. And we do get the sweep on LeBron and the Lakers, which would be historic. LeBron has never lost in the first round. And I believe he's also not gotten swept before the finals. So pretty interesting right there. And in the second round, it's looking like the same story. Up 3-0 on the Clippers. But they do get a game here, so Shy Gilgis Alexander balling out. They also have Tobias Harris, I believe. Greg Monroe I saw there. But we're probably going to close them out here in five games. And we do. Murphy actually leading us in scoring off the bench. He's going to be a nice player in the future for the Kings. And in the conference finals, we're actually playing the Warriors, who I have not seen since the first year or second year. But we do end up beating them in six games. Klay Thompson still here. Um, Steph Curry obviously still here. They still have Kevin Durant. They still have Draymond Green. They only lost to Marcus Cousins, so 
Still a very good team. Marvin Bagley with a double-double here in this game. We are going to be playing the Knicks in the finals. So let's see how this goes. We do lose game one. De'Aaron Fox with 20 points. Bagley also helping out there. They have LaMelo Ball. So Kevin Knox, Christoph Porzingis, Zion. Very good team. Very good team here. De'Aaron Fox again tried it, but we do end up losing this game as well. So we're down 2-0. Can we win this one? We do win this one. 2-1 now. LaMelo, 27 points. He went off. That team is nasty, though. LaMelo, Zion, Porzingis, Kevin Knox. That team would be nasty in a couple of years. But it looks like we're going to be down here 3-1 to to the Knicks. Not looking too good. And this game, we're going to simcast it. Maybe we can come back and force a game 7. But not looking too good right now. We are down. And 113-106. We do end up losing. So we got to the finals twice. Lost once. Won the first one. Not too horrible. Tim Hardaway still on this team. Led them in scoring. Kristaps Porzingis is the finals MVP. So that's going to conclude this rebuild. Let me know what you guys thought of this team. Let me know what you guys thought I should have done differently. Let me know if you guys thought it was realistic enough. If not, leave a comment and also comment what team I should do next. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe for some more videos. Never get to me, bring out the brains truck. I'm young, flying, iced up. Honey, yard dash. I had to run my price up. Bust your life up.